I'm Frank Peters. I do the Frank Peters Show. I'm also a long-term angel investor, uh, 14 years, I think, have over 30 investments, a member of the uh, Tech Coast Angels, big group in Los Angeles. Fantastic. So how do you know a great entrepreneur when you see one? Well, you kind of feel it, right? That's why we say passion is so important, because I think it's easy for a potential investor to kind of like feel the passion as they're speaking, right? What kinds of investment situations do you steer away from? Well, uh, investment situations, I'm, lately I've been talking a lot about retail models, where you're going to do something in one city and then perfect it and then go to another city to do it. I don't like those models. <laughs> All right. What was your biggest surprise as an investor? Well, uh, really, uh, the time to exit is so long. I think that surprises many of us, right? It's, it's taking a long time. The IPO market is gone. Uh, maybe it's coming back. Anyway, that's a big surprise for a lot of people. Huh? Okay. What's the best way to get a meeting with you? Well, I, I am often pretty accessible. Uh, don't invite me to lunch, though, because I'm not. you can't pin me down that long. I do coffee in the morning, like 8.30 in the morning. I've got a favorite coffee shop. you got to come to Newport Beach, though. And I'm only going to go, like, within a bicycle riding distance to meet with you. But I'm often very accessible. People who know you know you're a big cyclist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like to ride my bike. What entrepreneurial behavior drives you nuts? Well, of course, um, I think it's like, you know, not listening. Um, on the one hand, you want to be able to give advice to an entrepreneur. And on the other hand, you want somebody who uh, has great conviction, never takes no for an answer. So that's a dilemma for the entrepreneur. What advice am I going to listen to and act on? And, and in what ways am I going to just press on with my own vision? That's a balancing act that can be challenged. If you, if you had a core investing philosophy, what would it be? Well, uh, of course, I think we're all, especially here today at the conference, many of us trying to perfect our strategies, right? Uh, I think, you know, diversification, everybody says diversification is so important to an angel investor, and it absolutely is. But I'm looking at new ways to look at how my early stage portfolio is diversified. And lately, I'm looking at which deals have venture capital or are going to need venture capital, and I'm trying to balance those against others. So that's a new way for me to like slice my portfolio. Right now, today, I have too many deals that need venture capital or have venture capital. And of course, those deals are taking forever to exit, right? Is it the jockey or the horse? Well, uh... <laughs> I love that question. Uh, always the jockey, right? Uh, now you hear uh, from uh, Kleiner Perkins, who is it? Uh, Tom Perkins, is that it? He was big on the horse. But of course, he basically ran HP. He had unlimited resources. So if you've got unlimited resources, the horse is going to appeal to you. But for the rest of us, it's clearly the jockey. Last question for you. If you could give one piece of advice to the entire entrepreneurial community, what would it be? Well, uh, I think a lot of times what I tell entrepreneurs as they approach is uh, many of them have anxieties as they approach. They've heard from their friends. They're nervous about losing control of their dream, of their baby. And yet at the same time, one of the things we're looking for is someone who will trust us, who will listen. So trust. You must learn to trust as you approach potential investors. Give to get. Yeah, well said. Thank you very much for your time, Frank. Thank you.